Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. The Smurf Twins coming to you live from Broncos <laughs> training camp. She's Romy Bean. I'm Michael Spencer. Romy, the big story today. Who is going to fill in for Todd Davis? We saw a rotation of guys, Alexander Johnson and Justin Hollins, the two guys who got first team reps filling in for Todd Davis. Well, first of all, I think I'm the nicer Smurf, but I'll anyway, give you that. we'll just we'll go with that. <laughs> with the guys in uh, Todd Davis, yeah, interesting Justin Hollins. Talk about him first. So the Broncos drafted him this year as a linebacker, but kind of seemed like he was going to be on the outside. Now they're playing him on the inside and the outside. That is a big man, though. Mm -hmm. He seems he seems athletic. Uh, curious, you talk to him. Do you feel like he feels more comfortable on one side or the other? No, he didn't necessarily say he did. He said, yeah, it's a challenge to learn both, but it's something that I'm up to. I'm just trying to be coachable. It just means more time in the film room, more time working with the coaches. It was interesting. We know he's not going to be the starting outside linebacker, right? But he's a talented guy, so if the Broncos want him on the field, that's a position where they could maybe go with one of those NASCAR-type packages. You get Josie Jewell at that inside linebacker spot. Then you have him next to Josie Jewell. And then you got Von Miller and Bradley Chubb on as your true outside linebackers. That could be a big advantage for this defense if they decide to go that route. And Keyshawn Bieri, another guy that may have a chance, really not quite as much in the running as, as Alexander Johnson and Hollins. Uh, but he was kind of saying, for him, this is a great opportunity to show they were shuffling through all of them with the ones, the twos, and the threes to show that maybe he can earn a spot or even a backup spot. Uh, but he did say the one thing with Todd Davis is he's such a leader that just no one can replace him. He's still in the room, but without him on the field, I, there's, there is something missing because he was, he was a captain last year. It's, there's something else missing. So. And the good news, again, with Todd, if, you're, if you didn't catch our report yesterday, Day, three to four weeks so he'll be back he's expected to be back by the season opener that Monday night in Oakland which is good news but as you and I talked about on Facebook live today this is an opportunity for the Broncos to figure out kind of what depth they have at that inside linebacker spot Vic Fangio was asked today if he thought about bringing in an inside linebacker but there's nobody really out there on the streets right now because everybody's on a roster. Anybody who can play is already on a roster. So if the Broncos do make that move, they may have to wait until cuts are made later on in the preseason. Switching over to the offensive side of the ball, it was also a reunion in the running back room for David Williams. Now, this, this is so interesting to me. David Williams, that, that name sounds a little bit familiar. He was drafted by the Broncos in the seventh round of the 2018 draft and then was essentially beat out by Philip Lindsay, who was undrafted, for a spot on the roster, put on the practice squad. The Jacksonville Jaguars picked him up, blah, blah, blah. A year later, he's back. And so when we heard, gosh, David Williams back, the funniest thing to me, or maybe the best thing, is that the first one to, he said, hit him up, call him, was Philip Lindsay. So kind of it's all come full circle. He said they were all just reminiscing. And he said, no question, so happy to be back. He was actually en route to Green Bay, a connecting flight, and his agent called. And he said, oh, no, I'm absolutely going to Denver. And I thought the interesting thing was, too, I asked him, what did you learn from last year, your rookie season in the league, spending some time with the Broncos, then ending up with Jacksonville? He said, I learned how important special teams was. I didn't realize how important it was. Was, and now I'm going really hard at that. So he's a guy he knows if he's going to earn a spot on the roster this year, it's got to be through special teams. And that's got to be music to the coach's ears, especially Tom McMahon, a uh, special teams coordinator, because we hear this a lot. Guys come in and they don't want to play special teams necessarily, but don't realize that it is the third leg of this team. So for him to come in so willing and also he's been working at it, that could be a big thing for the Broncos also looking for a returner. I mean, he could have a lot of opportunities on special teams. So that's what we've been working on here at day two of Broncos training camp. Of course, you can find more of our coverage right here on CBSDenver.com. And we will be live at five and six. And then Romy will be back in studio tonight at 10 o'clock. For those of you in the Denver market, we'll catch you then on CBS 4.